Easy. Budget. Shot. The Environmental Justice League, uh, we're a small grassroots organization. Uh, we work to build the leadership and capacity within the communities that are most impacted by environmental harms in our community um, and to address the you know, inequalities of all different sorts. So Providence has a long history of industrial activity. In the last 20 years, some of the sites that, have, that Providence has identified as being appropriate for schools have been sites of old dumps. The organization actually started around these issues around um, you know, people in the community being really upset about these toxic sites the schools were being built on top of. This is one of many schools that are built on toxic sites in Rhode Island or in Providence. And this one in particular is one of the reasons the EJ League started. The toxic schools are mostly located in low-income communities that um, isn't much aware of what's going on with their schools, the factories, and so um, the government uh, take advantage of that. They can't even come outside to like chill on like a campus because most of the stuff out here is already toxic and it's like it's things been leached into it and no one really wants to focus around the cleaning part of it. They just want to focus on oh, oh but it's cheap. Pollutants and toxins that um, are near the school can trigger asthma attacks that lead to hospitalization and um, expensive medication. Uh, groups like Environmental Justice Leagues and others said, you know, we could do a lot better cleaning up this site before we build a school on it. This was one of the main ones that they started organizing against, and so they started in like, this little room with like community members and organizers, and it led to like now we're like trying to pass a law that prohibits um, schools building on top of these toxic sites. Recently at Alvarez, this is the site of Gorham Silver. It was a contaminated site. Well, how much work do you have to do? to clean it up before it's reasonable to build on. The only reason they choose to build on toxic sites is because the property is cheap, and so they can, it, it's really inexpensive for them to build on top of it. People try to say, oh no, they don't, there's nothing connected between the two, but like no other school that's not built on a toxic site does, has detect, detectors for toxins. All of these costs of thousands of dollars could be better spent in putting in after school programs, new books, um, sports, um, things like that. At least at Alvarez, we do monitoring and we have systems in place, but I guarantee you every school in Providence is close to it, a place where there used to be a factory at least, and may have similar solvent problems. We just haven't looked for them as carefully. So the Environmental Justice League really wants to keep neighborhoods safe, the kids safe, um, and just keep the community building better environment.